hope you're doing well. So today I'm filming an X video. Um, so I've asked questions on my Instagram of girls and guys is X and I am going to react to them today. So I have got a load of people's responses here and I'm going to go through them and react to what people's X are. So I did want to ask guys and girls just so you know I can compare the two and it is interesting. Um, and I just thought it would be a funny, funny video. So the first one I've got is rudeness to restaurant slash shop staff, which I completely agree. I've worked in retail before and many people have been rude to me. <laughs> um, and I just think, I don't know, it is just such a, like a turn off personally. I think if you go into a shop or a restaurant, I always smile at the people. I always say thank you or say please. I always try to be polite as I can and people feel just rude to them and make them feel like they're nothing. Like I had it the other day when, well last week, I had it when I went into the Chinese, you know, the local Chinese for a takeaway and this guy was really rude to the lady. So I tipped her just because I felt really bad and you know, sometimes we have our bad days, things aren't going to run so smoothly. So I think that they were running quite behind. And this guy was just got really angry and really rude to her and you just don't need to speak to someone like that like you know everyone else has got feelings like you're not the only person in the world so that one really really annoys me as well um so the next person said cockiness and bad personal hygiene which i completely agree with as well um i just oh i hate it when any boy i mean maybe girl as well like who just thinks that they're maybe better than everyone else and they're just cocky and it is just not a good look like you can have confidence but cockiness is just a complete different complete different thing and bad personal hygiene is a hundred percent like i mean you just need to shower <laughs> you need to shower you need to wash your hands you need to i don't know especially like i feel like the whole covid situation has just made everyone think that well, it's made me think that like you don't realise, looking back at old pictures, like how close you get to other people, how much stuff that you touch the same as other people. And like compared to now where you literally have to wear a mask everywhere you go, wash your hands everywhere you go. Like it's literally insane to think that people don't do that at all. Like it, it, it's just insane to me. But yeah, that is an ick for me as well. I do have quite a lot of icks. I have quite a lot of strange ones. I'll show some of mine as well <laughs> in this video. Um, but the next person said, um, untrust slash disloyalty, a hundred percent. Again, I think if someone is, well, I think, you know, like straight away, whether it's a friend or whether it's a relationship, whether someone's like disloyal or not. And that is such a big, like, no, no, like, why would you want to be friends or why would you want to have a potential something with someone who's like that? Like. I just think of people who are like that, like it does make, <laughs> it's strange isn't it, like how everyone is completely different and how some people think things are okay and how some people don't, but it's beyond me. Someone else said bad hygiene and if they talk chavvy, this is a big one for me as well, like again obviously someone else said bad hygiene, so I've already talked about that one, but if they talk chavvy is such a big thing for me, like like it really makes me cringe like I'm sorry if you talk chavvy but like it's just not for me like people who are like ah oh, rah you know people are like rah I don't know I just I think I think everyone's obviously different some people don't mind that but to me like I just like someone who is it someone who speaks normal it's just like a different level of maturity for me with someone who still speaks like Ah, uh, rah, yeah, painting G. <laughs> like, that just, like, really makes me cringe. Like, if that's how you want to speak, then fair enough. But to me, that is an ick as well. Um, so my friend said, imagine them trying to fit in the bath. And it's weird. Like, I don't know why we think of these things, but it does make me cringe. Like them trying to fit in the bath and them like with their legs bent up it does make me cringe i mean it, it wouldn't put me off someone like if like someone couldn't fit in the bath i mean every bath is different shape and size but um 
yeah it wouldn't put me off someone but I, I get where you're coming from it does make me think a little bit but anyway so someone else said girls talking like they are a gangster so this one is a boy saying that they don't like girls talking like chubby or gangster either I mean obviously I can't have the same opinion because like I don't see girls in that type of way and I don't tend to see many girls talking like a gangster either but I do know what you mean I think that's the same for obviously both ways for boys and girls talking like chubby or like a gangster like I guess some people are like that but um yeah I don't know it's you know I guess everyone has a type and someone talking like a gangster is not my type and it's not some other people's type as well um and someone for when people breathe yeah that's a relatable one when people breathe it annoys me no I'm not I'm not like that but I got you I know where you're coming from it's literally ones that you don't think about but you sit there and read them and you're like oh my gosh like if I was in that scenario like it would make me cringe like one of mine is oh my god it literally makes me like shrivel up makes me like really cringe picturing someone who's missed the bus running for the bus and that could either be a girl or a guy like I think I even dreamt about this the other night that I ran for the bus like and I don't know why I think I must have been thinking that I'm going to film an X video and this just came into my head and I don't know like if I ran for the bus and I think I've probably done it before as well actually I have done it before as well it's more like if the bus is literally like just down the road from you and you can see it pulling away but you start running after it to try and stop them that's when it makes me cringe you know not with like you're like five minutes away and you're running because you really need to get the the bus it's like pulling away from you and you're knocking on the door for them to let you in I don't know what it is, but if you just picture it in your head, head it literally like does make me cringe. Okay, so my friend said vests like the gym ones, which I don't 100% agree with. Like I like it when people wear vests, but I think they've got to wear a particular type of vest and wear it the right way. I don't like people who wear it like... I don't know it's just got to be the right one if you know what I mean um someone said a mustache <laughs> which I just don't get how a mustache can give you the ick but I mean some people don't like beards some people do personally it doesn't give me the ick um but fair enough you know people don't like facial hair um okay so running with a backpack on <laughs> it does make me like cringe it does um i don't know what it is i just think like it reminds me of when you used to be in year seven and people would run to the canteen obviously with their backpacks on and they're just running to try and get their first to get first in the queue to get their lunch that's what it reminds me of when i think about someone running with a backpack on and that does make me cringe um otherwise like i don't tend to come across a situation seeing someone running with a backpack on to be honest but yeah i can see where you're coming from um okay so the next person said when he gets out the car and you see his butt crack <laughs> uh, yeah uh, I, I feel like i agree with all of these there's none like which are like overly weird for me um but yeah that one does i just think it's like uh, not classy because like it's weird to think of like men being classy but it's just like pull your trousers up <laughs> do you know what i mean like why can you not feel the wind hitting your crack like i just don't get it but yeah that one is a big one um <laughs> this one i don't get at all like i don't get i just don't get this so they said getting eaten by a shark and screaming for his life uh, I don't know but that's just pretty harsh like if your boyfriend was being attacked by a shark and like if you heard him scream and he survived 
you're like, I'm sorry, I can't be with you. You screamed when that shark attacked you. Like, I don't get it, but um, that is funny. I think, yeah, no, I, I can't relate to that one. <laughs> um, okay, so someone has said polo tops. Um, this one again doesn't give me the ick, like, I don't know, like, I think it used to, I wasn't, never used to be a fan of polo tops, like, when I was younger, because, I don't know, like, I just wouldn't, like, do you, I mean, when you were younger, you, you don't want a ball, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but polo tops when I was younger, I was like, uh, you're really, you're wearing that? But now, like, someone who's maybe, like, going out, for a meal or something or you're on holiday to me a white polo top I don't know I kind of prefer it to a shirt some shirts I don't know if other people will agree with me on that let me know what you think about boys or girls maybe in polo tops does it make does it give you the ick or does it not because to me <laughs> that one doesn't um okay so next one let me have a look someone said <laughs> bogeys I mean, I guess it happens, I mean, like, everyone gets them at some point, like, but I know what you mean, like, it's kind of, not awkward, like, I'll always tell someone if they've, like, got something on their face, or they've got something in their teeth, or I'll always tell them, because the fact, if I know that it's there, and I don't tell them, that in itself gives me the ick, like, if I just let it sit there, like, it just makes it awkward, and I'm just kind of looking at it, and that's what gives me the ick but I've just learned to say something and move on from it and then I'm fine but yeah I can't like a little bit relatable but like not really because I guess everyone everyone gets it it's just one of those gross things um okay so someone said when he cracks a joke but no one finds it funny in the group which yeah that one is an ick for me I just have so many icks I feel like I usually watch these videos and people are like Oh no, I don't really get the ick with that, but yeah, a lot of these I get the ick with. I think they're just like such generic things, which I don't know, maybe ne not necessarily like in a, if I was seeing someone, like these would give me the ick, but like in a relationship, like I don't think they would. I mean, maybe some, but I wouldn't like be put off. It would have to be like a big thing to put me off. So yeah, that one I do find really cringe. It's just like awkward, isn't it? Like, or this one, oh, which like kind of like ties into this. It's like, if they are dancing in a group, I mean, this has happened to me many times before. So like, I give the ick myself for people pushing me out of the group when you know you're trying to dance. It is like embarrassing and it is awkward, but yeah, when he's like dancing in the group and or when he or she is dancing in the group, and they're kind of like dancing out of the circle like it's happened to me you know the life of being left out sometimes but it is like a when you're watching it like it is like an ick but I never I'm not that type of person if I see someone who's like being cut out of the group or it's not necessarily you know that you've been cut out of the group it's just sometimes people don't know you're there um and yeah I would always like dance with them I'd always exit the group if I'm in it or I'll always just dance with them um just because I feel bad otherwise like you know it's not it's not nice to be outside of the group um okay so next one is when his umbrella turns upside down so like when it oh my gosh it does like when they're just walking like this and it's so windy and it just pops out and they're trying to like fix it that literally gives me the ick. It's happened to me so many times before and it's just so embarrassing. And like, I would literally be too embarrassed to fix it. And I would like either chuck it in the bin because sometimes it's unsavable. Um, or if it happens twice in a row, like that is just ultimate like cringe. Um, but yeah, so I 100% I get that one. Literally, like it's just, it's just one of those things. Like it's so random, but it is just like, so embarrassing when it happens um okay so someone said this which i just don't get like hurting himself and actually being in pain like he's got to pretend he isn't hurt 
which I mean I guess like if it's something like really minor like if, if I don't know maybe if he like banged his leg on the table or something and if he's like oh my god that really hurt that really hurt like I would be like you know come on even I wouldn't cry about that like that I mean I am pretty dramatic but even I wouldn't be like there's just some things which like people overreact about and it's just like calm down um but like if he broke his leg for an example and I was just like come on get up it, literally why are you crying for you broke your leg what does that matter come on just walk like <laughs> I just <laughs> I don't know that one is just kind of confusing like I get you in some scenarios but in others like I just don't know um okay so next one guys who awkwardly dance mm -hmm. yeah like that is I guess it's kind of like the same with like me and like the dancing out the circle type of thing but yeah guys or girls who I don't know like they go out in the nightclub or something I guess like not everyone knows how to dance you know I'm not the best of like nightclub dancers especially now that we've been in lockdown for so long I feel like when I next go to the club like I literally don't know how I'm gonna dance I'm gonna have to take dance lessons before I go um but like people who like just stand there awkwardly like like dad dancing <laughs> um but yeah I get you with that one okay so I think I've only got a couple more so I'll just go through the last ones with you um so forgetting the lyrics I mean I wouldn't say it would put me off someone but it does like actually no I don't think it doesn't affect me at all that one because I always forget the lyrics all of the time like you know sometimes you just think like, you know what I mean you don't but I I can get why like, you may like cringe about it like I cringe at myself when I forget it and I'm like oh my gosh like I really just I was powering through that song like I knew it and I've just messed up like that's embarrassing but otherwise I don't get like the ick from other people um oh my gosh this one <laughs> I don't know why this one's like this is a random one again when he sat on a bar stool and his legs are dangling <laughs> I don't know why like that's come into their head but that is like even though my legs dangle off a stool but like it doesn't like when I'm in a situation if I was sat on a stool with someone and their legs were dangling off I wouldn't mind but like me picturing it in my head now, or like if I was sat in that restaurant and I was watching someone else's legs dangling off, it would make me cringe. And I don't know why. It only would now because someone's brought it into my head. But like, yeah, that is just, I don't know what it is. But that does make me cringe. Like there's literally some people who like actually physically can't be with people because of this. And I don't, I don't have any of these to that extent. Like, I mean like, poor hygiene and bad manners like 100% I could not be with someone like that but just random things like this like <laughs> it's just it is just bizarre but it's so funny like that some people actually have these icks and like I would say that like I have them but like they wouldn't affect me and like getting to know someone like they're just funny and they just make me like cringe um but yeah um so the last one is after eating spaghetti and having orange stain around their mouth or any food I guess if you've got if you've been eating you have any food around your mouth like a hundred percent like that is so cringe to me I mean like I said earlier I would tell them that they've got food on their face I'll tell them like oh wipe it um but like maybe like you know what's even worse I wouldn't say like in a restaurant if they've been eating food in front of me and they get food on their face like I said I'll just tell them to wipe it off but what would be even worse is if like <laughs> they ate dinner before like you know this was the first time we were meeting up we were going on our first date and they ate dinner before they came and met me and they get in the car and I look and they've got orange sauce or they've got food around their mouth from the dinner that they had before they came to meet me like did you not look at yourself before you left? Like, did you not think to like 
wipe your mouth? Like, can you not feel it on your face? Do you know what I mean? That would be the worst for me that they didn't even check themselves. Like after I eat food, especially like spaghetti bolognese or anything messy, I always like check my teeth and check my mouth because I get so self-conscious that like, what if someone isn't like me and they don't say, oh, you've got something on your face? Like, I just can't like, it's just a big thing for me. But anyway, so I've just read through all of the icks today. So if you are watching this video and you know, you've got any icks, which I've not said, I'm sure there's so much more. Um, I literally always watch videos about people's icks or I always like read like through Twitter threads or anything like that of what people's icks are. Cause I just don't know what it is. Like I don't, don't take it personally because you know, girls and guys have things which they don't like about each other, but it is just things which are just so funny that you wouldn't think about, but like it, when you do think about it, you're like, you know what, maybe that does make me cringe a little bit. Um, so yeah, let me know if you've got any icks which I've not said, uh, because I want to look through the comments and just laugh through them, um, or see if I relate to any. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and let me know if there's any other videos that you want to see. I hope you enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching. Bye!